Yo, what is up trainers? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are going to be show uh we are going to be an uh, well, I'm going to be answering some questions that I get frequently asked at uh school or home like if my dad asks me something about Pokémon, which he normally doesn't, but sometimes he does, it's pretty rare. But anyways, Let's just get straight into it. Don't waste any time. So the first question is, what is your least favorite Pokemon? My least favorite Pokemon is Farfetch'd. Now, I'm showing everything in cards. So, uh, I don't have the Farfetch'd in my collection yet, which is pretty sad, but I do, um, I also get asked what's my least favorite type. Uh, this is my least favorite type normal type uh this is halucha he's uh not that bad of a pokemon but he's just uh an example of normal type and uh you can see the normal right there uh i just don't like normal type pokemon because they're normal <laughs> okay so next card the next question is how many secret rares do you have i only have one but it's a decent secret rare it's the it's the executor from evolutions 109 and wait let's focus come on camera it's not really focusing oh there it goes 109 out of 108 uh you can also tell by just the uh the writing right there don't usually see that um so uh it has 80 hp which is pretty bad its attack does 20 or more damage so not the greatest card but it's it is a secret rare so the next question is how many full art trainers do you have i only have one but it's a really cool looking uh full art trainer it's the coreless trainer uh team plasma edition uh basically my friend pulled this out of a pack in school and he didn't know what to do with it so i told him that um, it's, like, not a really good card, so he should just give it to me. So he gave it to me, and, uh, that's how it all ended. Uh, I don't really know what's ability is. Shuffle, okay, whoops, sorry. It's, uh, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw a number of cards equal to the number of bench Pokemon. So, uh, that's not the greatest supporter card, but it's still, uh, semi, I still sometimes use it on the online tcg so the next question is uh what is your favorite ex card that you have or most overpowered now my favorite ex card and the most overpowered ex card that i have is only one card and it is a mewtwo ex now mewtwo is a really powerful pokemon uh he's basically mixed between mew and human which is absolutely insane just mew himself is a really crazy pokemon but He's just a really good uh, EX. Uh, his attack does 120 damage. Um, it's only three energies, but you have to discard an energy. But I would still do that. Uh, for 120 damage, I would take that easily. So that's my favorite EX that I have. Next is, what is your favorite EX full art that you have? And it is my second secret rare that I've ever pulled. Garatina EX full art. Uh... He's a really nice looking card. Uh, Giratina's abilities are always amazing, so I really like that I pulled this card because just not just because of his hib ability, but because uh, he's just a really cool looking card. And that's a dragon type right there. So, uh, yep, that's that card. Next is how many breaks do you have? Uh, I only have one break, but it's a really rare break, and it's a really nice looking break too. It's Machamp from Evolutions. Uh, he's a really good card. Uh, I've never pulled a break before this, so it was really exciting when I pulled it. Right when I opened the pack, I saw it, so I was really psyched when I pulled it. But The attack does 100 damage. Uh, it's 3 energies, and it says, During your next turn, this, Pokemon at this Pokemon's attack does 100 more damage to your attack to your opponent's active Pokemon. So pretty much, it does 200 damage on the next turn of their uh, of the Pokemon that they're playing. 
So one of the last questions is, what, uh, how many megas do you have? I have three megas. Um, this is my first one, a Mega Gengar. I actually didn't pull this one. Uh, my friend traded it. I I pulled a Mega Ampharos and he traded me this Mega Gengar for it. I'll honestly take it. It's, it has a really nice attack. It's pretty much like a Mew. So the next one is Mega Mew to EX, which is uh, again a really great card and just regular Mew to EX is my favorite EX that I have. So really nice to have that Mega. Uh, I can use it. It has a little scratch right there, but uh, it's still in great condition. All of my cards are in great condition. So the last one answers two, uh, two questions. One, how many Megas do you have? I have three. And the next one is, um, how many? Uh, what's your favorite Mega that you have? So this is my third Mega. And this is my favorite Mega that I have. Mega Primal Groudon EX Full Art. It's not a secret rare, which is... Uh, Really sad because when I pulled it, uh, I didn't really know what it was, but uh, later when I realized that gold borders are usually secret rares, I got really excited with it and I found out it wasn't a secret rare, but it's still a great looking card. It is just a great card in general. So, uh, yeah, honestly, this card is in great condition, but this is my first ultra rare also, so uh, really awesome that I pulled that and the last question in this Q&A is what is your favorite Pokemon this right here is my favorite Pokemon Gyarados probably ending it off with my best Gyarados card the ancient trade holo card really like this card uh, really stands out in my collection in my holo collection Gyarados I love Gyarados because he's just a sea monster Pokemon which is absolutely insane if you think about it and what's also insane is he evolves from a tiny fish, which is insane. So, uh, that's why he's my favorite Pokemon. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a humongous thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you're new. And be sure to comment down below in the comments of what I should do in my next video. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And uh, yeah. Bye everybody.